We have a 134 acre farm here in Morro Bay. We grow Pacific Gold oysters and Pacific Gold reserves. It's nice to be able to go to bed every night knowing that you're a part of an industry that is sustainable and healthy and not only providing a great product to the people, but also replenishing the environment and keeping our bay just as healthy as a day that I took over the farm. Our world is interconnected. We should know our small action can have a big impact on the world. At Refined Distillery, we take the prized red wine grape juice that's not being turned into wine and we distill it into top shelf spirits. That's where our name comes, finding a reuse and refining it into spirits. Unfortunately, what a lot of us did as winemakers is we would dump that juice straight down the drain, but it took the same amount of work, the same amount of effort to farm that, to produce it, the same amount of water. I wanted to figure out something better to do with it. Once I actually figured out that you could actually make vodka out of grapes, the light went off and I was just like, how do we utilize all this you know, product that is not getting utilized? At California Polytechnic State University, we really want to plant sustainability seeds into our students' hearts. Our project is to examine the effectiveness of signs on trails so that we can design even better signs and can encourage people to have pro-environmental behavior. What we do is sustainably and mindfully wild harvest seaweed and we produce food and self-care products. Seaweed is so exciting. It's a resource that we can cultivate in a way that improves the climate situation and improves climate resilience. The wonderful thing about the Hotel Cerro, we all work very closely with our local resources here so that we can support our local produce companies. We also grow in an edible garden, which allows us to grow things organically and also to minimize that carbon footprint. As a steward of the Bay, the things that I care about most are maintaining that health and stability in the Bay. Our oysters do most of that work. We plant the baby oysters, but they're filtering the water, which allows the eel grasses and other animals to get more photosynthesis, basically strengthening the ecosystem as they grow and do their thing on their own. Seaweed can be used as fertilizer, as animal feed, as bioplastics, as biofuels. We can meet so many of our needs as humans with this resource that by cultivating it, we're improving the ecosystem where we live instead of depleting it. Being environmentally responsible is so important. We actually live on the land that we farm and on the land that we invite tourists to come visit. We actually have a program to determine what is in season. So we plan three months out in what we grow and then we use those components in any way we possibly can. We use them in our menu and we also use them in our cocktails. Try to incorporate that in everything we do. We want nothing to go to waste. We do routine trash cleanups. So we take our boat and we patrol the shorelines. If there's any kind of trash on the shoreline they find, we will come pick it up, rain or shine, no matter what it is. We have courses focused on sustainability. So we wanted students to know the impacts of our industry and also how to become a sustainable person.